made my own to-do list of New Year's resolutions, but I stumbled on to, I can't remember the name of the YouTuber, but some guy on YouTube sort of showed me how to make a list and be productive, and I'm going to sort of share you the technique that I use to get things done. Okay, so you want to start off basically writing down a physical list, at least for me, but you know, whether you do it on your phone or whatever, I find it's easiest to use, you know, old-fashioned pen and paper. And, you know, it's more actionable, I can see it, I can open the book, whatever. All right, and tick off my achievements as they come. But your goal list should be broken down into manageable and realistic chunks. So by the day, week, month, year things that are realistic in a time frame. So for me as an author, right, instead of me trying to get books published, that can be my yearly goal, that I want to have one or two or whatever books published. But it's much more realistic for me to go day by day and week by week, month by month, etc., and set realistic goals. So in my daily planner, I have minor stuff that is much more achievable like I want to exercise more and eat more healthy and that can just start with me having a bowl of oatmeal or something healthy for breakfast and then going for a walk for 15 minutes or something get actively out of the house and you know just go enjoy fresh air and get some exercise in. now for writing my personal goal is to write one chapter at least a week. Now chapters vary from 700 to 3,000 plus words. It's up to the author and up to the genre, etc. But for me, I personally tend to like shorter chapters, so I can pretty well blow through that much easier and do three or four chapters a week but at least I'm getting the one chapter and I set my expectations low. Same sort of thing is you need to take breaks and you know, so that's your daily schedule. Just don't overload too much. Add one good habit or two max to try and increase on a daily basis. And that could be, you know, brushing your teeth, taking out the garbage, whatever. So on a weekly basis, my goal is at least one or two chapters and I also personally want to learn how to draw and that is in my New Year's resolution something I learn, hope to learn in the course of the coming year so what I have sort of set up for myself is since writing is my main thing I am going to draw for an average of two hours a week and that way if I you know do less or more, whatever. It's fine. But ideally I want to hit that two hour mark in a week, which is much more manageable than me trying to practice every day whilst trying to write, do YouTube, program, etc. And, you know, sort of on a weekly basis, my goal is to drink more water. Because I do sort of one day to two days out of the week consciously remember to drink more but on a weekly basis is where I sort of fall apart so that's my weekly <coughs> and in the next month I hope to publish now I'm already mostly done the sequel to my debut novella you know A New Sky was the novella and A Lost City is my uh, sequel and I also hope to, within that same month, write the chapter to my next book. And, you know, because I think it's about time, I'm going to learn thumbnails. And so, that brings us sort of to the monthly. Now, if we want to go into yearly, this is where we can be more abstract. But as long as we're making progress on the daily, weekly, monthly goals, 
these become much more realistic. So in my yearly goal I hope to have three books published and right now I have 27 subscribers on YouTube. I hope to obviously improve, provide more value and you know learn thumbnails and I think it's somewhat reasonable to either 50 or a hundred subscribers within a year from now. You know? And that's just sort of how many people fall apart with New Year's resolutions and everything. People always shoot for the moon and want to quit smoking. Now, I can't speak on the effect of it. I don't know, I'm no expert, but I think, at least for me, it would be more effective if rather than trying to quit cold turkey, which is hard, you know, I am a smoker, it would be much more efficient to, you know, say you smoke a pack a day, slowly, gradually, over the course of the next month, wean yourself down to half a pack a day, and then it's just, you know, a matter of perseverance but when you have day by day simple things that you can tick off you start to feel really good about yourself that oh I'm getting these done and it becomes a sort of addiction of sorts to be productive and not waste time and you know once you do see that you can see smoking and whatnot it you know becomes much less desirable to continue to do those things and same with most things like eating unhealthy and whatever but going forward I mean the last couple of years because of COVID and all that stuff you know the division everything the world's crap and we have spent too many years sort of apathetic and you know we go to jobs we hate and we live paycheck to paycheck not only that there's the division and hatred and everything that's wrong with society today I don't know about you but I'm choosing to make 2022 a much better year for me and you know hopefully the world I quite honestly am sick of it I'm no you know, anti-vax person or whatever, I just got my booster shot, but I'm tired. I'm sick of the way the world is, like, let's set our goals, let's all be the people that we want to be, and not give up, 